What's up everybody? Good evening. Sorry for not having a good morning. Good evening though. Um, so I did go back to work today. The government only affected me for a half a day. The go I'm sorry, the government shutdown only affected me for a half a day. So got up this morning, went back to work. Oh well, had a nice little half day on Monday, I guess. Glad to be back to work, even though it was only really <laughs> for like four hours that didn't work. Glad it didn't go on longer. One thing that is a little frustrating though about this is, is that they didn't really solve anything. They just kind of kicked the can down the road. Said, okay, well, we'll open the government now until February 8th. Three weeks. Okay. And what? back to this. Unfortunately, nothing really got solved. Sucks. But I'm working good. Moving on. There was literally nothing on TV last night to watch. And for some reason, I was just incredibly freaking exhausted. I was so tired last night. Just incredibly exhausted last night. I don't know what happened to me. I've been having those days lately, but I think it's just, again, it's winter. Well, it's not really winter now, but I mean, we are technically still in winter. We are technically still not getting the amount of sun that we normally get. I don't know if I get uh, SAD or if it's just literally the weather, but for some reason, as soon as it starts getting cold, I don't have energy, I feel sick. Like, literally, I've been sick now. I wouldn't say sick, like, oh my god, fever, I'm dying sick, but it started the first of the year. It literally started January 1st, where I got sick. And to be fair, I don't think I've gotten 100% better. I'm waking up every morning with a sore throat. I'm stuffy. It's like, it's just, I hate winter. I hate it. I hate this time of year. Everything's dead. It's usually cold. <laughs> Not right now. But I think we're going to get back to being colder. I must say, this has probably been one of the more mild winters I've experienced in D.C. Very strange. It's really been very spring-like. Oh. Yeah. But... Day was very, very busy. I spent a lot of my day <laughs> just being busy, doing tickets, helping people out. It's weird because it like suddenly just died at 3:30. It's a little early for the gallery. Usually, we stay pretty busy until 4:30. But today, it's 3:30. It just it died. So. Got to chill and actually catch up on things. And yeah. Who I'm out of breath. But tonight's plan is to relax, watch TV, try to figure out why Paul's been in such a bad mood. Paul was in a very grumpy mood today. I can tell when he left this morning. Usually I'll get it before him, but lately he's been having a bit more before me. He was just grumpy. I think the problem is he thinks a lot. He's always thinking about something. He gets in his head a lot. And then he had a nerve today to 
to say I think I have to think for two people. <laughs> Talking about me. I think it's literally more so that I just... Not that I don't think, obviously, but... I just take everything in stride. There are certain things that there's just no point in me making decisions on or having any input on. It's not going to make a difference. Like, oh, what do you want for dinner? Uh, I don't care. Food? <laughs> it's very rare that I can say, this is what I want for dinner. It's things like that. You know, for some reason, it just frustrates them. Good Wednesday morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. So it is Wednesday. We're only halfway through the week. It feels like it should be Friday. Yesterday felt like it should have been Thursday. But it's only Wednesday. We're getting there. Oh. Wasn't really... Again, anything on TV that had to be watched last night. So, just kind of chilled. Morning birds. <laughs> I think Paul's in a little better mood this morning. I have a beer trim and a haircut. <clears throat> on Saturday. It's not with the person who normally does it. She unfortunately is gone. She has moved to New York or is going to be moving to New York. I think Saturday is actually her last day here or at the shop. So at least I will get to say goodbye to her but I think everybody's trying to get in and see her and so yeah. I actually would <laughs> go and see her during the week. I would just like leave work and then come back. But your boy ain't got the money right now to do that. This test that I have to take kind of screwed me up financially. So money is ridiculously tight right now. I've actually already filed my taxes too, which is funny. But at least it's done. And I don't have to worry about that. I just have to wait for the IRS to start accepting them. But they are filed and ready to go. It's much cooler today than yesterday, but it's not cold, if that makes sense. Like, I have on a heavier jacket, but I don't need, like, the scarf and the gloves and things like that. Of course, I got the long sleeves back on. I mean, it's not like, oh my god, it's freezing like a was there for a little while. I really feel like, and I'm hoping that February and March don't screw this up, but I really feel like we're already starting to transition into spring. And it's not good, but we're getting very spring-like weather already. Global warming is real, folks. Alright, good evening. So, Done. This day was a crazy day. It was so crazy that I didn't even get to have lunch today. I'm over it. <laughs> I never want to deal with another one of these meetings with our Mac admin again. 
up until recently, I haven't been including, including, included in any of the Mac meetings because they were slowly starting to pull my Mac duties back. Well, they realized that they need more than one person doing Mac stuff, and so they started including me in the Mac meetings. Today was one of the first ones. And let me just tell you that just more and more and more stuff about this Mac Advent will make you not want to have no one make you not want to work there. An hour and a half meeting. Which shouldn't even take that long. Should have been an hour. But a scheduled hour and a half meeting turned into two hours. And it would have been longer than that. If I want to try to keep things on track, I mean, like, listen, okay, what's next? What, move on to the next topic. It's, it's unbelievable to me. And then on top of that, so we get a VIP call. He's calling, like, three times, like, back to back to back. It's just like, hey, I need help, I need help, I need help. Our front desk person interrupts our meeting. And Jeff is like, oh, okay, I'll take care of it. And then... <laughs> and then as soon as... The meeting ends... I'm out here. And our deaf person is like, are you going to help this guy? I'm like, oh, I thought Jeff... <sighs> I'm taking care of it. And he's just nonchalantly like still in this meeting like nothing's going on and oh. I just don't get it man shit is crazy so I end up having to help this guy and he, it, just my approach is so different than most he's just like man every time I get help from you it calms me down I'm like yeah, because I help in the way that you're supposed to. I really don't get... I really don't get Jeff. That's his name. The Mac Adam's name is Jeff. I really don't get it. But... I had to stop by the grocery store on the way home, which I don't think I should have had to do, but that's another subject. <laughs> and on top of that, it's not showing up in the camera, but on top of that, it's flurry right now. And it wasn't supposed to even do anything today, rain, snow, nothing. We got freaking flurries. This weather is crazy. Yesterday it was 65 degrees. Today it's snowing. It's like we're already. It's like we're already trying to move on to spring. It's like spring and winter are fighting right now. That's what it is. Which is typical if it's time for the season to change. But it's not time. January. It's not time for spring to happen. But you wouldn't know that by that weather. At all.